in this video I'm going to show you how we can use implicit differentiation for finding the points on a curve the tangent line at those points is horizontal or vertical find the points on the curve the tangent line is horizontal the given curve is x to the 2 minus xy plus y to the 2 equals 3 we want to find the points that the tangent line at those points is horizontal when the tangent line is horizontal it means that the slope of the tangent line is zero and remember the slope of the tangent line is derivative of the function so we have to find the points that the derivative of this function at those points derivative of the function equals zero for finding y prime from this relation we have to use implicit differentiation method this is an implicit relation so we use implicit differentiation method for finding y prime and after we find y prime we have to set it equal to zero because we want to find the points that the tangent line at those points is horizontal for finding y prime we use implicit differentiation method the first step is to take derivative of both sides of the, of the relation with respect to x derivative of x to the 2 is 2x for finding derivative of x times y we use the product rule we have a negative x times y so for finding derivative of negative x y we use the product rule negative x is the first function and the y is the second function derivative of negative x is negative 1 times y y plus write the first function and multiply it by derivative of the second function so derivative of negative x y is this so we have negative y minus x y prime this is minus x y prime and derivative of y to the 2 is 2y y prime don't forget when we do implicit differentiation and we want to find the derivative of y a term involving y we have to take its derivative and we have to multiply it by y prime because y is a function of x so derivative of y to the 2 is like x to the 2 derivative of x to the 2 is 2x derivative of y to the 2 is 2y but don't forget to multiply derivative of y to the 2 by a y prime so finally derivative of y to the 2 is not only 2y 2y y prime equals 0 we keep these two terms that have y prime in the left and we move these two terms to the right because we want to solve this relation for y prime if we keep these two terms in the left we have negative x y prime plus 2y y prime equals negative 2x plus y if we factor y prime from this then we have negative x plus 2y equals negative 2x plus y and finally y prime or dy over dx is negative 2x plus y over negative x plus 2y because we want to find the points that tangent line at those points is horizontal the y prime at those points is equal to zero so we have to set this equal to zero negative 2x plus y over negative x plus 2y we have to set this equal to zero when a fraction is equal to zero when we have a over b equal to zero immediately from this we can conclude that a is equal to zero so keep this in your head that when a fraction is zero it means that the numerator of that fraction is zero so from this equation we can conclude immediately that negative 2x plus y is equal to zero or we can say if you move the negative 2x to the other side we can say y equals 2x 
but the problem is that with only one single equation how we can find x and y we want to find the point that the tangent line at those points is horizontal but we have only one single equation by setting numerator equal to zero and only from one equation we cannot find two unknowns how we can find x and y when we have only one single equation but remember we have one more equation between x and y this equation here is another equation that you have to consider we know that x and y satisfy this equation we know that x to the 2 minus xy plus y to 2 is equal to 3 so we don't have only one single equation we have two equations this equation and this equation let me write those equations here so we have y equals 2x and we have this equation as well now from this system of equations we can find y and x for solving this system of equations and finding x and y we use the substitution method y from this equation is 2x so in the second equation we can replace every y with 2x because y equals 2x if we do so simply we can find x and y x to the 2 minus x times y but don't forget y is 2x plus y which is 2x to the 2 should be equal to 3 so we have x to the 2 minus 2x to the 2 plus 4x to the 2 is 3 x2 minus 2x to the 2 is minus x to the 2 plus 4x to the 2 would be 3x to the 2 equals 3 so from this x2 is 1 and from this if we take a square root from both sides x is plus minus 1 so now we have the x coordinate of the points but remember y is always 2x so the points that we look for are 1 and 2 because y is 2 times x so when x is 1 y is 2 and the other point that the tangent line at the, that point is horizontal is negative 1 and negative 2 and this completes the solution of this question so the points that the tangent line at those points are horizontal are 1 comma 2 and the other point is negative 1 negative 2 but we have a second part for this question also we want to find the points that the tangent line at those points is vertical so it seems that for this curve here we have points that at those points the tangent line is vertical we want to find the coordinates of those points when the tangent line is vertical then the slope of that tangent line the slope of the tangent line or slope of the line in general is undefined the tangent line is vertical only when the slope of the tangent line is undefined but we know that slope of the tangent line is derivative of the function is y prime so we have to find the points that the y prime is undefined do you remember what was a y prime y prime is this y prime is negative 2x plus y over negative x plus 2y we got this expression for y prime we want to find the point that the tangent line is vertical and the tangent line is vertical when y prime is undefined so we have to see for what values of x and y this expression here this expression is undefined when if we have a fraction we know that if we set the denominator of the fraction equal to zero 
then the fraction is undefined so the points that the tangent line is vertical are the points that make the denominator equal to zero so for finding those points that the tangent line is vertical we have to set the denominator of y prime equal to zero so only we have to set the denominator equal to zero for finding the points that the tangent line is vertical and if you remember when we want to find the points that the tangent line is horizontal if you remember from here we set numerator equal zero so when numerator is zero the tangent line is horizontal when the denominator is zero the tangent line is vertical and here we want to find the point that the tangent line is vertical so we set the denominator equal to zero again we have this equation and don't forget we have the original equation given in the question so we have basically these two equations we have negative x plus 2y equals 0 which we can rewrite it as this as well if we move x to the other side we can write it as x equals 2y and we had also this original expression in the question now we have to find x and y from these two equations now we use this and we substitute x here and x here with that then from this we have 2y to the 2 minus 2y times y plus y to the 2 is 3 so we have 4y to the 2 minus 2y to the 2 plus y to the 2 is 3 and from this 4y to the 2 minus 2y to the 2 is 2y to the 2 plus y to the 2 is 3y to the 2 equals 3 so y2 is 1 so y is plus minus 1 when we have the y values from this we can find x values so the points that the tangent line are vertical are these points 2 comma 1 and negative 2 comma negative 1 when we plug in 1 here for y x is 2 times 1 so 2 1 and the other one is negative 2 negative 1 before i finish this video let me show you the graph of the given implicit relation the graph of this relation is this ellipse this is not a horizontal ellipse this is not a vertical ellipse this is a rotated ellipse as you can see its graph is an ellipse and the question was to find the points that the tangent line at those points are horizontal if you notice at this point and this point if we draw the tangent line the tangent lines are horizontal what is the coordinate of this point if you remember we got this answer one and two and the coordinate of this point here is negative one negative one and negative two at these points here and here if you attention we have vertical tangent lines what is the coordinate of this point we got these answers 2 1 so the coordinate of this point is 2 1 which seems to be right and the coordinate of this point is negative 2 negative 1 and as you can see the tangent line here is vertical i hope you like this video if you like this video to watch more videos like this please subscribe in my channel and see you in the next videos